Robert Downey Jr. gets mad at Jimmy Kimmel. All of a sudden, you're the guest. It is a little bit odd. We start to uncover some hidden drama between Chris Evans and Robert Downey Jr. And Jimmy Kimmel gets in trouble for asking an inappropriate question. Okay. On this episode of Body Language Drama. <laughs> what are you supporting tonight, Jimmy? I don't know. The show starts off normally, but then it gets very inappropriate very quickly. PRO. That's the name of the brand? That's right. Okay. It's like retro, but without the R. You've never heard of Metro. No, I never. What are you supporting tonight, Jimmy? I don't know. <laughs> I'd have to look in. Later on, we'll look. You'll go through my pants, and we'll see what I'm wearing. <laughs> Hey, you had the big premiere right across. Robert Downey Jr. and the audience are shocked at this very crude attempt to build sexual appeal. <laughs> hey, you had the big premiere right across the street last night. Jimmy Kimmel tries to change the subject, but Robert Downey Jr. can't seem to forget about what Jimmy just said. And you can see it in the way he's carrying himself. Yeah, more and more every time. You do. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy Kimmel saying that was very inappropriate. Robert decides to do something about it. He has three options that he can go with. Option number one, play along. Option number two, let it go. Option number three, fight fire with fire. He decides to go with option number three, fighting fire with fire. Now Robert starts to brand his own sex appeal. <laughs> Each time it gets better. Here's the problem, what and I'm problem? not really giving anything away. You get to see Tony when he was really young. Uh-huh. And then for the rest of the movie, it's me. Mm -hmm. I kept saying, where's that young guy? <laughs> yeah, so that I was think, interesting. I think in the follow-up films, I might just have him play me as 24. I, well, y yeah. That was hot. Yeah, and, <laughs> hey, listen, everybody was pretty excited, yeah. for sure. And in the so, middle, he starts to check Jimmy to see his reaction. And looking at Robert's body language, he knows that he did the right thing calling Jimmy Kimmel out. Y yeah. That was hot. Yeah, and, <laughs> hey, listen, everybody was pretty excited, yeah. for sure. And Robert just goes straight into it. A little bit. I got a little charged what up. What is this about you and I in your pants? What, are you coming on to me? <laughs> I just got you. I, yeah, I usually wait for the second that, segment. Is that what you want? I'm sorry, I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, it's you're your back. Show. Okay, good. So Jimmy Kimmel purses his lips because he knows Robert is putting him in his place. But by using the power of his position as a talk show host, he decides to get revenge on Robert Downey Jr. by mentioning something personal that happened at the premiere of Captain America Civil War. You're your back. Show. Okay, good. So here to him. Who had better seats, you or the accursed Captain America? Last Did he night. show up? It, he was at. Not only that, he told me he was bringing some patriots with him. Yeah. To the that hits Robert in his gut. As Chris Evans gets mentioned, better seats, you or the accursed Captain America. First, Robert's eyes are or tense. Or the accursed Captain America. Last night. Did he night. show up? It, he was at. Not only that, he was bringing some of the New England Patriots with him yeah. to the premiere. And then secondly, a nervous smile appears once the Patriots are mentioned. And it just so happens that Captain America loves the New England Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> Enough to invite them to the premiere of Captain America Civil War. Uh, done things for me, and so I, I'm inviting a few Patriots players. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Robert Downey Jr. is pissed because Chris Evans may have ditched Robert for the New England Patriots. Right. I love Chris. I love Captain America. Before the premiere, he's all nervous, and we're supposed to drive in the Audis. He's like, bro, I don't know. Should you go first or I should go first? I was like, man up, dude. We got to go to this premiere together. <laughs> What is he? What? Jimmy Kimmel sees that Robert's in distress thinking about Chris Evans, so Jimmy Kimmel pushes the New England Patriots even more to piss him off. What is he? What is he worried about? Do you know? I Chris Evans has been known to be very nervous around the New England Patriots. You see him, you're like, man, you are the reason that Patriots get to say what we get to say to anyone who doesn't like us. You, if, like I said, if you are guys, actually like a I'm like, I don't a bit. <laughs> you just realized, oh, this is exciting. This is a big deal. I think last night he suddenly all of a sudden realized it was exciting. <laughs> He did seem excited about bringing the Patriots, which is kind of a funny thing to do. And yeah, your favorite right, Patriots, athletes. whatever. I'm telling you, you didn't care that. at all. Now Jimmy knows that Robert is reactive to this. Jimmy starts to get aggressive and goes for another emotional jab by mentioning how Chris Evans wouldn't even be Captain America if it wasn't for Robert in the first place. You had to convince Chris to take the role of Captain America. Was that difficult to talk him into that? Uh, you know, this great in hindsight, I get to take... And for some reason, Robert is stressed out about this question, as we can see through the gulp. America. Was that difficult to talk him into that? Uh, you know, this great in hindsight, I get to take credit for everything, right? Oh. There's no Marvel Cinematic Universe without me. Yeah, I did everything. Um, yeah, it's like you're like... <laughs> and the motion of his head is telling us that his brain is withholding his true emotions from us as he breathes out what he actually feels. Marvel Cinematic Universe without me. Yeah, I did everything. Um, yeah, it's like you're like... <laughs> it's not true. 
you're indoctrinating people into a cult. He's, yeah. the, he's the one that said it, though. He made this up? I don't want to say he made it up. Do you think I just call people on the phone and say, listen, you're going to do this movie? Robert is saying it's not true, but later on in the interview, he says this. Robert says it is not exactly true that, that Robert convinced him over the telephone to take the part. All right, I did. You did tell him to take the yeah, part. Yeah, I just have don't you, like agreeing with that guy every time he have says you something. Been Robert lied to Jimmy Kimmel to get him off his back, and now he's had enough. So he cuts off the sentence with a very short answer, forcing Jimmy Kimmel to change the subject. What am I, what am I like? A, I don't know what you're up to. You're right. It, did you, uh, I, well, Spider-Man is in this movie, which I he thought was, is. is really fantastic, and it's, um, it's exciting for the Spider-Man movie. Now all of a sudden, Jimmy Kimmel starts to get even more personal. I take, I take that character, Tony Stark, pretty seriously. Because you uh, you sent me a photograph and uh, of your daughter, and I, is it okay if I, I share that photograph? Because, oh. Jimmy Kimmel has been weird the entire interview, and now that the family's involved, Robert Downey Jr. starts to show some concern of what Jimmy might say next. I share that photograph because, oh, well, I guess it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, she's made a choice. I know we're almost the same age, but would you... Is there any chance you would adopt me? Because I would love to be a part of the Downey Jr. family. You know? That's a very creepy thing to say to a guest. And Robert tries to point it out in a very cryptic way. Listen to the last word that he uses. You know, honestly, Jimmy, you know, I watch your show. It's always weird. I'm here on your show, but I, I, I like, watch the show. Oh, Imagine well, thank you. being me, and then you're just sitting here, and now all of a sudden you're the guest. It is a little bit odd. It is. <laughs> and will you be at Jimmy didn't get the message, and Robert goes straight for the point. I'm watching the show while you're on the show? You just asked me to adopt you, correct? <laughs> I did, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I think we should say hi to you at home if you're at home. Hey, hi, Robert. Hi. Jimmy Kimmel starts to show some pursed lips, and Robert Downey Jr. puts up with it like a professional. And I think we should say hi to you at home if you're at home. Hey, hi, Robert. Hi. <laughs> Do you I'd love it if you subscribed, but if not, that is totally cool too. My name is Tyler Match, and thank you for watching Body Language Drama.